Good day. This video will discuss the method of modeling subframe strips, the viewing of its results, as well as exporting it to continuous beam for detailing. As can be seen, we have a simple concrete structure modeled of Insumo, with concrete footings, columns, slabs, as well as monolithic beams. The model consists of predefined load cases, load combinations, as well as levels. To model an accurate subframe strip, you can work within the diagrammatic view of the model, which, as can be seen, is currently not available. This view will only become available once we set our current view to a certain level. Now, you will notice the diagrammatic view becomes available. We can now start to draw in our subframe strips. You will notice that you can define the width of your width lines within the commands ribbon. For this example, I will define it to be 1.5 meters to the left and to the right of the subframe strips frame line. Once this has been defined, you can follow the command prompts to draw in your frame line. You will need to select points on your frame line at every change of geometry or support condition, which in this case will be the start and ends of your slab as well as at the position of every column. You can then accept the entered subframe strip once you are happy with its layout and you will notice the subframe strip will be drawn in over the length of your slab. I will move back to my diagrammatic view to demonstrate how you can draw in a subframe strip by using the width line option instead of the frame line option. You will first draw in your frame line and define its start and end position, where after you can draw in your first width line to your specifications. You can then perform a linear copy to define multiple width lines over the length of your frame line. I will draw in 20 width lines at a spacing of 1 meter. This will result in a more accurate subframe strip as the analysis will converge to give you a more accurate set of results. You can then perform an analysis to view the results of your subframe strip. Within the ribbon, you can select the strips to view the individual results of each subframe strip. You can toggle between membrane stress results plate force and moment results, as well as your required design reinforcing results. You can also view these results of the subframe strips within the strip chart diagrams, where you can choose to display all your load cases or only load combinations within the resultant diagram. You can yet again view your membrane stress results, plate force and moment results, as well as the required design reinforcement results within these strip charts. You can simply select the subframe strip within your model and the chosen results will be displayed for the various load cases within the strip chart diagram. You can view these various results for both your defined subframe strips. You will notice how much smoother the diagrammatic results for your second subframe strip are. This is as mentioned because we defined more width lines which converged your results to be more accurate. Within the Design Links tab, your two subframe strips will automatically be defined. You can view them or you can design them, which will export the selected subframe strip to the Continuous Beam module. You will notice that your subframe strip will be imported to Continuous Beam, along with all the correct sections, spans, supports, as well as loads applied with Insumo. Within the Design tab, you can view the elastic and long-term deflections, the experienced moment and shear forces, as well as the required bending and shear reinforcement. Within the reinforcement tab, you can generate your reinforcing that will resist the applied loads on your specified continuous beam. You can then view your detailed reinforcement in 3D view, as well as generate a bending schedule for the required reinforcement.